Maris Baltperks will be the one to open this conference. Maris is a chairman of the board of uh, Altas IT, and uh, he's the one to say, now let's begin. Maris, welcome to the stage. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> As you can hear, I have uh, tuned in with my uh, stage voice. So uh, try to understand and uh, if you have any questions on my speech later on, especially on the tasks, come over and ask. So as uh, Aldis just said, uh, my name is Maris Baldbergs. And the uh, main thing is that I believe in the uh, future of security through technology. That is one of the reasons why uh, I am here, and uh, I believe that that is also the reason why most of you are here. Today there will be a lot of seriousness, because today's topic is very serious, and uh, judging by your faces, you are all professionals in seriousness. So I have one suggestion. Loosen up. Smile. The most important thing about smile and being relaxed is we can preserve and get more information and remember it way much easier than when we are uh, uh, all stressed up. So uh, today there will be a lot of information for you to remember and uh, a lot of things that uh, you might want to share tomorrow with your colleagues, uh, with uh, friends. As we see day to day, the role of security and safety, both personal and commercial, just keeps growing and the stakes are rising. I organized this summit as a logical step and as a way to join our forces against disturbing happenings uh, around us. This event marks a turning point in our industry, at least if all of us let it to be such an event. Well, on the outset, it might seem that uh, this is just another conference. Yet, in fact, this day that will initiate change in our society, at least it can be, as I said, if you let it to be. Today we will be, uh, go deeper in topics of international security, artificial intelligence, thermal technology, and uh, the role of technology in fighting cybercrime. And of course, there will be other powerful topics. We are all experts in field of security, and uh, the positive future, to some extent, depends on all of us. It depends on our passion and curiosity to know more. It depends on us constantly asking questions. What is next? How can we do it better, faster, more efficiently? It depends on us pushing our limits for the sake of common good. It depends on us constantly learning and focusing on our vision. Today we have an impressive lineup of speakers. Lecture, lecturers for today's event are highly renowned experts and have been chosen intentionally and for a reason. The reason is very simple. This is just the value that these people can bring to us. Therefore, I encourage you to listen closely to today's speakers and read, or should I say listen, in between the lines. And think of situations in life where you can put this information to actual use. The change I mentioned is about our mindset and the way we perceive the world. We all know how important this topic is, yet we tend to have a narrow focus on it. 
we are more likely to focus on a very close circle, although the safety and security of our close circle largely depends on well-being of much wider circle. Our intention with this summit is to start to change, or would I say give it a new, better push to widen our perspective and notice how seemingly distant events and progressive solutions are in fact very relevant and might affect our lives. The future needs us to be proactive. It needs us to be visionaries. So most of us gathered here are driven by technical and analytical thinking. Yet recent global events have reminded us that security goes much deeper than technical equipment and, and statistics. It touches lives of people in so many ways. It concerns emotional aspects and the quality of our lives. This expands today's topic and makes it so much more important. I actually see some people nodding so I'm sure you know what I mean. If I could ask just one thing of, of you today, that would be to pin down four things. Four things to, that you didn't know before today, or that you know would change the world around us. Write those things down if you need, and go about your day tomorrow and share these things with other people. In the end, I think that would benefit uh, all of this situation to them and to us to make a better, better and safer tomorrow. Basically, that is why my company, Altus IT, and this is actually why, what is my company, Altus IT, all about. We bring uh, the top-notch technology to Baltic states we do it hand in hand with our partners. And I see many of you are here. We do it by sharing everything that we know about the technology and security, of course. We do it because we think it's not enough that we are the smart guys. We think the, sm the more security technology experts will be there, the better. The conference is a huge step in that direction, but knowledge, information, and context are nothing without proper execution. And this is where our partners come in. As I see it, there are two ways you can take. Firstly, become an exceptional technology expert and the highest top expert in your company. For that, there is just one question to ask yourself. What did you do today for sake of becoming a top security expert? Well, it's pretty obvious about today because you are here, right? Secondly, become an implementer. Having smart people around is great, but we also need some action people. If you feel that power within you, then I have another question for you. What is the first step that you have to take to make that happen? Whichever of these two steps you take, it brings us to uh, where we all want to be, in a safer tomorrow. Well, that would be all of my inspirational speech. I'll give the floor to our prominent speakers now. All this is for you. Enjoy it, make, take the best of it, and mainly remember, pin down four things that you will share tomorrow to make the world safer. Thank you very much.